Hi, I'm Dane, and uh, these are podcasts for Balanced Body. Uh, today, we're going to be working on a little bit more scapular stabilization. Uh, we had gone over some earlier scapular stab stabilizing exercises on the chair. Now we're just going to take it to a slightly more functional position on the reformer. So when we talk about scapular stabilization, um, it's really a little bit more of getting the scapula to work the way we want them to as opposed to holding them perfectly still. So we want to get that connection of the arm into the scapula, into the rib cage, so we get a nice flow of uh, energy and forces through the body instead of stopping at one place. This is Kim, and Kim's going to be demonstrating for us today. So I'm going to have Kim kneel on the reformer facing the head of the reformer. Okay. She's going to grab onto the, to the straps and just start by finding a nice, tall, neutral spine position here. Right? So once we find that position, we want to make sure that the position of the person on the carriage is right as well. So Kim has her knees up against the shoulder rest. You can do that if you want to maintain a little bit more stability, or you could move them away from the shoulder rest, and that'll challenge that stability a little bit more because they won't have that connection to the shoulder rest. So starting with a nice tall spine, we're going to start with just shoulder extension. So I'm going to have Kim take a breath in, and as she exhales, she's going to gently pull those arms back, inhales, the arms come forward. So what we're looking for here, again, is not so much for the scapula to stay perfectly still, but what we want is the scapula to kind of glide with the movement so that they're assisting the arms to move, but not flopping all over the place. So it's more of a control of the scapula than it is holding them perfectly frozen. Good. So exhale two more repetitions for me. Exhale as you pull back, and just keep that sternum just a bit more lifted for me there. Good. Exhale and pull. Good. And bring those arms forward and pause right there. So now we're just going to go to a different variation, bicep curls. So I'm going to have Kim flip her palms up, and she's going to maintain that nice tall spine, and then also maintain the upper arm parallel to the floor. Now this is a great shoulder and scapular stabilizing exercise here. So she's going to take a breath in, and as she exhales, go ahead and curl in for me. Good. Inhale as you uncurl. Good. So the goal here really is to make sure that the athlete is able to maintain that stability at the shoulder and the scapula and execute just the bicep curl without having their arms or shoulders elevate or depress. Good. One more time for me here. Good. And then release. Great. And now we're just going to go into a reverse fly or reverse hug a tree. And this variation here is, again, just working on getting that connection from the arm through the rear deltoid into the scapula into the rib cage. So just completing that whole band of connection across the upper back. So I'm going to inhale to prepare. And as she exhales, just gently open those arms wide. Good. Inhale as you bring the arms forward for me. So notice her elbows are staying slightly bent. That slight bend at the elbow allows the forces to pass through the arm into the shoulder and upper back instead of stopping at that straightened elbow joint. Wrists are staying neutral, elbow slightly bent, and then the work is happening across that upper back. Two more times for me there. Good, chin up just a bit. There you go. And last time for me here. Great, and bring those arms down and relax right there. Fantastic. So these are kneeling arm variations on the reformer facing the head of the reformer. And again, the goal is to get a good connection of the arms through the scapula into the rib cage. Um, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.